What time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to follow my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G E E K L Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. Last video I talked about my tweet yesterday, yesterday about you know India's position at the UN and their votes uh, for you know condemning Russia in, in this. I was wrong in that tweet. I was wrong in that tweet because I was you know I, I see so many similarities in everyday life that I like to you know go back and and bring analogies from Mahabharat. It's something I do I relate a lot of everyday life things that happen in everyday life back to those those you know events in history when they had this vote you know with at the UN and and India you know voted to abstain i i first was like you know i understand you know india's friends with like russia you know friends for a long time that they've come to their aid for a while in many conflicts when no other country did and i understand that and i was like and that in some ways that shows like a loyalty which is like Karna, you know, loyalty, you know, to his friend, the, the mean prince, <laughs> loyalty to that. And I was like, so in some ways, I'm like, I, I understand that I, that I kind of like Karn in this. There situation. was a commenter that pointed out like, no, we're not like Karn. We're like more like, you know, Krishna's brother, Balaram. And it hit me, you know, I was like, you know, that was a much better analogy. I, I take it back. More like, you know, it was a neutral vote, not standing by him, not voting yes with Russia, but taking a neutral stance. You know, he he is friends, like Balaram was friends with the, the mean prince. That's what I call it, Dur Durian, because I say his name wrong. But he was friends with them. They were long time friends, right? But he was like, no, we're going to stay out of it. We're going to take this neutral stance because their friendship. Maybe, you know, he didn't want to fight on the other side, you know, with... uh against his brother Krishna or that I'm sure there's many reasons but I was like you're right in this situation right now India is very much like Balaram there is no question in my mind that Putin is like one particular person in the Mahabharat and let's take a look at who you think well what has Putin done in the past we know Putin kind of rules like with a dictator. He has like the biggie. Anybody who opposes him, I mean, they get some serious consequences. Look at political opponents that have po po um, opposed him. They even say what his name is Salber Salisbury Novichok was poisoned. Three other people critically ill, one dead from like a nerve agent that Russia uses to poison people. And he, I think it happened in like the UK that he poisoned him tried to kill her, killed off, you know, his opposition there. We know stories of his, more currently in the last few years, what's his name? Um, Navali, yeah, Al Alexa Navali. How he almost died, he was poisoned uh, on a trip, almost died, recovered, and he is so tough. Like he, after he recovered, he even went back to Russia and was like, no, I'm going to stand up against him. He was one of, the, you know, Putin's political opponents. And, and, you know, and when he got into Russia, they arrested him. Then they kept these BS charges on him, you know, all this other stuff. But, I mean, look what Putin is. Look what he does. Poisons the opponents, kills people. Who does that remind you of? Who in the Mahabharata has a big ego, tried to kill or killed Beam? Uh, you know, the mean prince even tried to kill off all the Pandavas with Kunti when they were in that castle made of the, the core. There is no question in my mind that Putin in this situation is the mean prince Dur Durahan. You know, I say his name wrong, but you know who I'm talking about. There is no question in my mind in this situation Putin is Durahan. Someone on that tweet, people are like, well, what do you think? You know, you, you, who's the Pandavas? U.S.? Is U.S. the Pandavas? U.S. I Christian, think, you know. Ukraine is Pandavas. I mean, they're fighting against, you know, the mean president, Putin, the, this mean president dictator that, you know, it has, it's kind of a madman, evil. They're fighting against him. They're not perfect. They made all their many mistakes. They made many mistakes. 
But they're in this situation, you know, they didn't want war really. You know, they made many mistakes, but they don't want war. They just want to live in peace, these people. They just want to live and be free. They're tired of being attacked. They, they're, this happened in 2014. Russia came in with the cr Crimea and tried to attack them. I was like, you think the U.S. is Krishna? No. <laughs> no. U.S. is not Krishna in this. Someone asked me, they're like, well, who do you think U.S. is from the Mahabharata in this situation? And I thought about it. And it came to me. Shishapal. <laughs> Shishapal. You know the, uh, I, the one who was there uh, at UD's you know, uh, what was it, his inauguration and, and Krishna was there and Shishapal was there and he had his little hundred uh, little napkins that, you know, every every unrighteous thing he says, he gets like a hundred, a hundred chances and he keeps pulling out and he keeps doing the wrong thing, but he keeps getting, you know, you know, uh, he keeps getting by with it because he has these hundred chances and soon he's going to run out. But I'm like, that's like the U.S., we're like the Shishapal. I ain't like no Shishapal either. I'm not saying U.S. is right into this, but we've done our, mis you know, mistakes. We have made our mistakes. We have done atrocious things also in the past I, that I was against. That's what I said. I'm never for war. When we bombed different places, it invaded different places, I was against it. I'm never for invading and killing you know, innocent people, even though in the mix of those innocent people might see, be some bad people. I just think there's other more peaceful ways to progress in the country. But Shisha Paul is the U.S. We're, and one day we're going to burn out of chances. And this is where I'm going to cry. I try not to. This is where I'm going to cry. Because then someone was like, like I said, they were like, oh, you think the U.S. is Krishna? No. Far from it. They're like, well, who do you think Krishna is? And I, I didn't take much time to thought about it. Krishna is all of us. Krishna is every side, right? Krishna is in all our hearts, guiding us. And I know we have our reasons not to condemn the war and all that, but but what's happening is atrocious for me I'm like oh, Krishna is in all of us in our hearts that this shouldn't be happening there's other ways we should have peace I just do what I can hear the little thing I can hear speak out about it speak out against it oh, share my thoughts and opinions and and pray for peace. I like a good quote. Sometimes a good quote perfectly says what your heart's feeling. And I want to end this one by this quote by Nelson Mandela. It's He said, our human compassion binds us to one another, not in pity or patronizingly, but as human beings who have learned how to turn our common suffering into hope for the future.